So today I'm going to be setting up my GNOME 2 by Simintonic within Ableton Live. First, you need to install the USync app. Now go ahead and launch the USync daemon app. Go ahead and launch Ableton Live. Now on the GNOME 2 device, we need to make sure that autoplay is on. So press the advance button, then turn the dial to APL. Press down on the dial and then turn the dial to select BOT. Press the advance button again to exit or press the dial again to go back. Now the autoplay feature is what's going to allow all your devices to start when you press play on your DAW. Now go to live, settings, and audio. Now click on the link tempo MIDI tab. Under control surface, select GNOME. Under input, select GNOME 2 DAW control. And under output, select GNOME 2 commands. Now below that, under the input ports, you don't need to tick any of the boxes here with the GNOME 2. So leave them all unchecked. Now scroll down a bit more to the output ports. And you only need to tick this box if you're sequencing your external hardware from one of Ableton Live's internal MIDI tracks. Now under options, make sure that both delay compensation and reduce latency when monitoring are set to on. Now add one MIDI track and add the USync plugin to it and turn off monitoring. Verify that the USync app and the DAW are connected here. You can also install the latest firmware if needed. Now add one audio track, and this is what we'll use to record our sequence from the external drum machine. We'll select our external audio inputs from our audio interface, which is where the drum machine is connected to, and make sure to turn off monitoring. Now when I press play on Ableton's transport, it immediately starts my drum machine playing via MIDI clock. Now arm your audio track in Ableton to record and press record on Ableton's transport. Once you're done, you can zoom in to see how accurate the clock is, as well as to measure the current latency. You can then adjust the latency via milliseconds within the USync app itself if needed. With my latency showing about 9 milliseconds, I made an adjustment of about 8 milliseconds. And now that seems to be pretty dead on. I like leaving just a little bit of room in front of my drum hits for adjustments later in the mix. You can now save this as either an Ableton template or an Ableton rack preset for future use without having to run through the entire setup again. Now in the scenario where you have an existing project that has lots of tracks and virtual instruments and maybe heavier plugins that induce a lot of latency, make sure that you tick the box within the USync plugin, I am using plugins with large latencies of 20 milliseconds. You can still use the shift slider on the USync app to make minor latency adjustments if needed. Hope this helps and I'll see you in the next one.